Despite the current weather conditions of snow and below freezing temperatures, this past weekend I was around my lower pond area and the frogs were out in full force. I even spotted a couple with my flashlight and headlamp. Got me thinking, what about frog gigs? We never talked about frog gigs, so let's look at them today, how easy they are to make and how to make them. I actually don't like the name frog gig for making this device because it's so much more than that. If you need it to, you can defend yourself from any type of animal at camp with this. You can also pin down animals with this device if you would need to. But I guess a frog gig is really the best way to put this. So we're gonna look at how we exactly make one of these because it is really an easy process. This is also something that is renewable in my mind. So it's something that we make and if it breaks, we just go make another one because it doesn't take that long overall. First thing we're gonna need is a stick. Now the stick that I'm gathering, when we cut it, we wanna make sure it's good and straight. And we also wanna make sure that it is taller than we are. The reason for that is once we put the pointed edges on one side, we don't wanna be walking around with this and have it stick us in our jugular or our eye in case we trip or fall. So being taller than us, gives us that advantage. It also gives us the advantage to reach out and actually touch something further away. We're also going to need some type of cordage. We're gonna use synthetic cordage for this project. You can use vines or natural cordage if you'd wanna do that. Inner bark atula poplar, not even broken down into cordage, just strips work for this also. We're gonna to have to start out by splitting top piece of this spear. When we decide we're gonna then split this out, we don't wanna stand up and try to put our knife above our head and get it balanced and then try to baton that way. And we don't wanna be standing with our knife out of our sheath up on something trying to make it balanced. So laying this down across a log is gonna be best. What you then wanna do is baton with the length of the wood. So I'm gonna come just like this and I'm gonna to start to baton through my piece of wood. Now I need to reposition this piece of wood because I need the baton in the other direction. So ultimately, we're putting two cuts in this. I have everything set up in place, and I'm gonna just baton right through. Now what I did was I created four sections of this stick by batoning. You can see what we got going on there. Next is really simple. We're gonna go down below where we split out. We're gonna place a straight lash. The reason I like to do this for this project is that it allows these pieces to split down to a certain point and not go any further. It doesn't have to be a lot of lashings. Just a few wraps around will get the job done. Next, I'm gonna take two sticks about the size of number two pencils and I'm gonna wedge them down inside my splits. And what that's gonna do is open up these splits to start to give us that aiming point. So you can see they're opened up. It's given us a bigger area that when we stab this down in the water, we're covering more area to stab that frog with. That's where we're at at the current moment with our gig. These four pieces need to get pointed I wanna do something that I normally wouldn't do, but if it happens, it happens, because I see this happen a lot with students when they first make this. We take one of these, and we accidentally break it. Whoops, totally broke. Listen, it's not the end of the world. We still have three gigs left. Pop that piece off, and just deal with three. I know it looks like four on the camera there now, but break that section off. We still have three, that's still gonna get the job done. It's not the most ideal, but it's not a huge problem. So I wanted to show everybody that because people say, I gotta start totally over. Just go with the three, it's not gonna hurt anything at all. It's actually a little bit easier to get in here and carve this out. So all we're gonna do now is take our knife, again, cutting away from ourselves, not cutting in that blood triangle, and start to point off these sticks. Three points on this gig. They're all looking really good. I want to have them close to even, but they don't have to be perfectly even because remember, this is just a stabbing and holding device. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of cordage and we're going to tie in these cross pieces. I start out, and there's no rhyme or reason for this. This is just how I do it. There are probably a thousand ways you can do this. I'll just make a quick slip knot and go over one of these 
cross pieces and the cross pieces I'm referring to are these sticks. Now they can definitely get cut down smaller, but uh, all I wanna do is I'm gonna start by wrapping around and then just tying them in place. So an over under pattern for a little bit and then I'll switch that pattern up. I'll go under over and go around that way. And all this is doing is holding this in place for me. And that's my three pronged frog gig. Now I broke that one off, but you see it's no problem at all. I can reach out, stab, and hold things with this. Again, you'll be able to get anything you need with this as far as birds, squirrels, if you can get close enough, frogs, fish. And when you use this, the length of it's allowing it to really reach out there and stab into something. And it took me all of but five minutes to make this. You can really dress this up and clean it up, but again, you're just looking at these prongs as something sharp to be able to drive down into that creature in order to hold them in place for another food source. So frog gigs, super important, understanding how to make them, even more important, and they're easy and they're fun. It's great for learning to carve and just use your knife in different ways by batoning differently and tie some lashings on there and you're good to go. So this was Dan Wolak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a gig. Give it a shot, tell me how it works out in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe, smash the like button, or check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.